This is another way to retouch an image in Photoshop. In this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to retouch an image in Photoshop. Retouching, retouching that we normally do all this on this particular method is very simple and it doesn't need more stress. It's just using two to three things to get your work done. So we are just going ahead, we are heading over to our Photoshop just like this. And on this particular tutorial, what we need to do over here is that there is the image. And as you can see, you can see there is a pimples on all that you know on the face looks somehow distant you get that but how do you retouch how do you clean up the face how do you make the face look nicer those kind of things how do you remove those things in photoshop so first of all what we need to do as you put your image in photoshop or if you are in, as you import in the image in photoshop what you need to do is to uh just start your work so first of all what i need to do is that i'm just going to duplicate it by ctrl g so that when i duplicate it in case it has not been done well i can redo another one so the next one again i'm going to do is that on this this particular duplicate this thing i'll go to the blinding mode then i'll change it to vivian light so when i change it to vivian light just like that that is what i'll have and the next thing i'm going to do is to what is to invect it invect it by ctrl i this way and that looks beautiful and the next thing again i'm going to do that's the uh, third step that i'm going to do i'm going to filter then i come to order then i go to high pass over here then i click on high pass and when i click on high pass that is what i'll have over there so in in, in case you are doing you just have to try and let your radius be 0 0.1 then you start moving it a little by little until you get the correct distance that you need then you can leave it that way you get that some may leave it somewhere here that's too bad so you just have to try that kind of reddish things that is appearing that kind of reddish distance you have to try so that not everything will just come out just merely like that you get that so you just have to try and work out with that you get that so i'm just going to leave it for then i click ok then when i click ok that is what i'm going to have and the next thing again i'm going to do that's the first step i'm just going back to the filter then i come to blend then i go to what gas and blend then when i go to gas and blend that is where the magic works for me so that one too again you have to leave it at 0 0.1 and then you start what you start dragging your distance so i can decide to make it one that looks so beautiful and i can leave it two that one to look so beautiful you get that and then you can also leave it three that one to look so beautiful so it depends on the radius that you would like to use so in this particular distance i may decide to use one it looks so beautiful or i can decide to use what two that one to look so beautiful then i can have it just like that and then as you can see uh, let's see the before and after with this a uh, few steps that is how it is and that is what i'm getting that is how it is and that is what i'm getting so the next thing again i'm going to do over this particular destiny is that i'm just going to add up a, a layer mask to it and that is where we can find the layer mask so i'll click on that then when that layer mask has been added the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm just going to press ctrl i to infect that particular distance so that you won't see that magic again so the, but what we need is that i have to go and pick my brush tool then when i pick my brush tool over here is supposed to be supposed to be what white if here is black if the layer max is black then the fourth background color should be what white you get that then when what that is done i just have to uh decrease my size of this thing then i start what i start brushing up just on the face the part that i want that place to be smooth i'm just going to brush that side just like that as you can see the face is changing drastically and it doesn't need more stress you don't need to go to a long way to get this thing done and that is how you just have to do that then you have it done just like that and that one looks so beautiful then you as you can see you get that and then you do the same thing to the part there are there are some parts that you just have to do that so just try and clean up those parts and your picture will look so so nice and uh, you know a whole lot of people like it and then you have it just like that so there is just a simple method on doing the retouching in photoshop as you can see you get that and then you can have it just like that uh, let me zoom out the work then you can see before and after when you have done when you've done or something like this let's see something here that is how the picture was and there is the magic that is how the picture was and there is the magic and then you can just go through check 
all around those places that need that kind of retouching then you just move around those places and get it done and that one looks so beautiful the next thing again i'm going to do is to uh, hold control shift alternate e then i'll merge it at one then when that is done i'll go and pick my tool over here spot healing brush tool and then there are some parts that need to be just clean up but that one could not clean up so i'll just click on that places and those places those things will just what it will just remove like the, the, the pin paws or the chicken paws those areas all the big big ones that supposed to also take off but it's not i'll just click on those places and then as we can see everything is removing gradually you get that and then you can also use the there is one tool over here uh the, the stamp healing brush tool you can also use that one and then all what you need you have to click and then you 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 click on that you do that you do that you do that 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 so that everything will also go you get that you just have to hold alternate then you click on the part that you want to remove that particular distance and all that will, will be removed you get that yes and that is another way of doing that particular distance and then after that when i have something like this and i know it has cleaned up let me just group it one and i that is how it was and that is what I, I have so the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to uh filter then i go to camera raw filter and then in that particular camera raw filter that is where i have to add the colors you know just making it so beautiful for the view of the that particular client who's going to take this particular image so that is where i can find it as you can see it's still loaded up you know camera raw filter is somehow it's it's, it's kind of blocking that need more uh, space in your computer so that is what i'll have and when i have something like this i'm just going to uh have before and after so this is before and this is after so the first thing i'm going to do is to come to my calibration site over here and when i come to calibration site over look at this one don't look at this this is before and this will be the after so i'll just increase my saturation as i'm increasing the saturation as you can see the image is becoming so beautiful i can decide to make a hundred look so beautiful for me without any problem and then the the primary color the huge and saturation too over there too i can also decide to leave it this way it looks somehow different and i can move this one too it also looks somehow different and then i'll just try and have it like small ones okay and then i can have it just like that then i come to uh, this particular adjustment over here on that particular adjustment over here i'll high i'll decide and uh increase the face so that space the space will be somehow light up and then i'll increase the orange which is also the face part of the face and then this particular color and then it's somewhere here magenta i'll try and reduce the magenta a little bit so that it will look somehow this thing and then i can have it just like that coming to back back here it's increasing that particular red and those things so over there i'm just going to increase the red a little bit and then the orange too i'll increase it a little bit so that look at this so that is what we are working and this was how it was you get that yes and then i'll just have it just like that and i'll click ok then when i click ok this was what and this is what i get so that is how the retouching is being done uh, in photoshop and it doesn't need more stress it's just very simple one and you are good to go thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day bye bye